What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Sports Talk with Broads, and what I have here for you today is a Philadelphia Flyer squad that finds a way to get a W when we had problems with Morazic. When we lose 7 of 8, we give Lion the nod, and tonight they win 4-2 to two in Carolina, which was so big, so big. Before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, comment if you'd like to because I enjoy speaking with you guys and dissecting this. You have Jordan Stahl scoring early. There was a point shot and he gets a redirect in front of the net. It was about his torso high and it goes five hole through Lyon. You, you really can't argue with that goal coming from a goaltender perspective. It's just something that, that happens. Pucks get redirected and they take a one to nothing lead. In the second period, no goals occurred. So I wasn't really stoked about the way the Flyers were playing at this point. To be honest with you, I wasn't. I thought Lyon was playing well. I thought it was going to be another one of those games where we just don't find a way. And I was texting some of my boys about this game. And I said, and I will admit it, if the Flyers lost this game tonight, there was a fat chance I was out. I was done. There's just no way. There's no way I can trust this squad anymore. And with that being said, that's when this Fly Guys team turned it around because in the third period, Travis Konechny gets his 19th of the year. A nice tip in front of the net. Travis Sanheim with a nice shot. And Wayne Simmons also gets an assist. But this is when literally under two minutes later, the Carolina Hurricanes find a way to score. And it was Coming down from the blue line. After Rafa had a nice block shot, they go down the half wall. Lyon finds himself hugging the post and, and kind of a little bit low. And it goes short, side, high. Apparently, it hit his mask before it went in. I did not see that on the replay. But I heard Jonesy talking about it. And I, I thought Lyon probably could have made a better save on that. But... All around, I thought he played fantastic. I am very confident in the way he's playing. And there's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. He better play next game. That's all I have to say about that. Now, moving along in the game. Under two minutes later after that. So, right now, the score is 2-1. to one. You have the young guys. You have... Lindblom finding a way. Nolan Patrick mucking in the corners. And those two move the puck around so well. They find Voracek in front of the net who does a little dangle, undresses the net minder, and finds a way to put the puck past the goalie for a 2-2 two -to -two tie. That's exactly what we needed, boys. We needed to have our veterans and our young guns find a way to, to tie this hockey game. Seriously, that play by Limblom, that's exactly what he needed. He needed to find a situation where he will be able to get a point, make a play happen, because he has been having so many opportunities, so many chances to score a goal, so many great setups and great plays, getting second line minutes for so many games. Now we're talking maybe 12, and then him and Nolan Patrick just work the puck beautifully and find Voracek right in the slot so he can do his thing. And then another veteran steps up. Philpula. About three minutes later, scores a big-time goal on a breakaway. A nice little move assisted by Wayne Simmons. That is Philpula's 11th of the year. Somebody who's been playing a bottom six role, a fourth-line center role as a veteran who's getting paid a lot of money with this contract. But hey, he gives us the 3-2 to two lead, and you can't be upset about that at all. And then, four minutes later, Raffle. His 11th, assisted by Sean Couturier. The Flyers take it 4-2. to two, and A needed victory. I mean, it couldn't have been any bigger of a victory. The only thing that makes this a little bit worse is the fact that the Devils smoke the Kings 3-0. So looking at the standings right now, the Flyers have 83. Columbus has 83. And the Devils have 82. So, you know, we didn't really separate ourselves too much because the Blue Jackets also won 2-1 to one tonight against the Senators. But we needed that. Could you imagine another loss? I mean, we were already losing seven of our last eight. So that's ginormous. And we have to keep this confidence going. I swear, if if Lyon does not get the start and Hackstall gives the nod to Morazic next game, I'm going to be really devastated because... 
The way Mrazek has been playing compared to Lyon tonight. Lyon, when he got in, when Mrazek got pulled last game, and then the start they gave Lyon a few games back. They've been looking way better in net with Lyon in. It's just the honest truth. So I'm looking at this Philadelphia Flyers squad who plays again tomorrow against Washington, D.C., in our barn, we're playing the Capitals. We're playing Alexander Ovechkin. We're playing a Capitals team that people have been ripping on because they don't think they have the same squad that they had when they were winning President's Trophies, and they don't think that they have a squad that can win the Stanley Cup. They are not playing bad hockey right now at all. I mean, they are first in the Metropolitan with 89 points. Alexander Ovechkin's hot right now, leading the league in goals. We need this W. I mean, seriously. I can't stand another loss. I'm going to be devastated if we don't find a way to put together wins. It's that point of the season. I'm, it's just it's, it's cold, hard facts at this point. I'm done with the moral victories. We need to continue to get two points. And hey, I don't want to take this negatively because we did what we needed to do. We came back. We had a great third period. We battled adversity tonight. We absolutely did. And we got those two huge points against the Carolina Hurricanes, but because the Blue Jackets and the Devils win as well, it's not as big in the standings, which is kind of upsetting. It's tomorrow afternoon against the Capitals at the Wells Fargo Center is a must-win victory for me. <sighs> that is where I'm at. With that being said, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, Comment if you'd like to because I love speaking with you guys. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you next time.